Armed with her Selena t-shirt and her pink backpack, fifth grader Juanita Turcios was heading home on the bus after a busy week at Corinth Holders Elementary. I was like just sleeping because I felt tired and then after I was kind of sleepy, um, a car and it, the bus crashed and then everyone like jumped and got scared and little kids from like kindergarten and first grade were crying because they were, were very scared. After moments of panic, everyone was saying that, oh my God, God save us. All 21 students on board were able to get off safely. Four of the students had minor injuries, but didn't have to go to the hospital. Chopper 11 shows the medics on scene making sure everyone was okay, while troopers scanned the crash scene. The bus didn't have much damage, but you can see the whole front end of the other car was ripped to shreds. Now the highway patrol says that that car was coming up to this stop sign and went ahead too far at the same time that the bus was going north on this road right here. In the end, the driver of that car was cited for failure to yield to a stop sign, and they say it's important for drivers to pay attention in situations like this. As close as the car was to the intersection when it started to pull forward, it wasn't very far forward to begin with. I don't know that anyone could stop in time to prevent it from happening. Um, it's just on the, the driver's got stop sign to make sure that they yield and make sure it's safe before they start to cross. The couple in the car stayed on scene until the tow truck got there. They didn't want to go on camera, but Juanita says she forgives them. It was a grandpa and a granny. I felt bad for them. Meantime, Juanita says she had to wait a while for her parents to come pick her up. Just glad to be going home safe and sound. So how are you, how are you feeling right now? Right now, I'm feeling happy because I'm with my mom and my dad. In Johnston County, Tom George, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.